Um, hi everybody, uh, my name is Mo Garvey. I am based in uh, County Clare here in the Republic of Ireland, originally from County Donegal. Um, I'm 52 years of age. I have three boys, three children. I'm um, and my job is I'm a motorcycle instructor. Um, so I run a very small motorcycle school here in County Clare. Fantastic. Well, hopefully there's people online. I, I would encourage people who are watching this to please comment below, hashtag live. If you're watching this on the replay, many people do. Can you please uh, comment below, hashtag replay? If you have any questions pertaining to anything about um, weight loss or reverse dieting or nutrition or exercises please don't hesitate to to ask us and we'll do our best to answer okay so basically um mo if you don't mind saying i mean me asking you sorry you're 52 okay so another reason why i brought you on here you lost 48 pounds including 10 inches on your waist that's absolutely incredible for any woman any person any age but was age a factor, do you think, in you getting such incredible results? I, I would have thought at 52 that it would have been more difficult to lose the weight that I actually did. So I was pleasantly surprised at how quickly the changes started to come as soon as I started with uh, with your program. Um, I've been much younger and find it more difficult to lose the weight, actually. So definitely age is not, uh, for me, it wasn't a hindrance at all to losing the weight. Mm. Age is only a number, isn't it? Yes. Well, I know, look, menopause or perimenopausal, um, you know, it can slow things down, but, you know, I mean, you have shown, and Colleen has shown, and Marlene has shown, I mean, you're all women in your 50s and 60s, that it's, it's totally possible with the correct, the correct nutrition and strategy. Mm. So, what did we provide for you then, Mo, that others in the past did not? Well, probably like most women my age that are still struggling with losing weight, but not so much losing the weight, it's, it's keeping the weight gained, keeping the weight off. That's the, the big thing that most of us have tried all the big names. And while you might lose some weight, you know, once you stop, the weight comes back on and invariably putting on more weight than you had on at the start. So what your program did was just, it was an education really, um, accountability, you know, having to account to somebody every week, watching what you're doing uh, every day, you know, the My Fitness Pal. It's a fantastic app really to use, the phone calls, you know, all of those things that, that are available with your program that are not available on, on, on any of the others. I mean, I'm surprised really when you would go in of an evening once a week and jump up on the scales. I mean, after a day's food, um, day's water, and you're jumping up on the scale hoping that you're going to have weight lost, it, it just seemed to be an insurmountable mountain to lose really anything. And when you did, you'd come on the next week and you'd have it back on and maybe a little bit more. So it, it was... It was very frustrating and, and demoralizing as well. And then what happens is you just give up and then you go and eat whatever at home to console yourself and then you feel bad and then you have, you know, it's just a never ending cycle. And that I just found with this program, that cycle stopped, you know, it stopped it dead in its tracks. And so that was a that was something that, that had never happened before. <clears throat> yeah, the, the key word here is sustainability. So you mm. said, how, how long were you on this? As you said, a cycle, this hamster wheel, I guess. How long were you trying all these different things and feeling you're frustrated? How long was that going on for a while? About 15 or 20 years, Davy. you know, between jumping on one and jumping on another, leaving it for a while and then feeling really bad about yourself and then getting back onto another and saying, right, this is it this time, I'm definitely going to do it. And then you lose a bit and... Then you'd have a couple of weeks where you had put weight on and then you would just give up. So that, that's that been going on for a long time for me. 15, 20 years, my God. That's a, that's a, that's a long time to be struggling, isn't it? And I'm sure I'm not the only one. Yeah, it's, it's, you that's know, what I'm I admire sure I'm not about the you. Only one. You have to have a few different qualities um, when getting results. You have to have, obviously, adherence, per perseverance, and, and patience 
you know, this is eight months. I mean, I admire your aggressive patience for staying in the program. That's what makes it sustainable because it wasn't all we periodize your diet. It wasn't all the fat loss phase. We had main, several maintenance phases. You know, when you were, you know, we were right. listening to your biofeedback, you were hungry or lacking energy. We had to pull you out and say, look, your body is clearly telling you that uh, you need a rest and recovery. And you need to be smart about, about uh, setting up a diet. You need to have it in specific phases. And mm -hmm. that's why, thanks for being so patient. For I coached you for four months at Georgina. I coached you for, four months a total eight months yeah Fantastic. that's why she had to, that's why she had to go to barbados for a break then after that <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's living the life she's still recuperating on the beach too that was tough <laughs> yeah of course she's an amazing uh, she certainly coach. is she certainly is yeah can, can i touch on something personal for you Mo? um i remember our first phone call eight months ago but do you mind telling our audience the health issues you had was it two years ago yeah but two years ago um i was diagnosed with uh, with kidney cancer and um you know that's been a fairly it's been a pretty horrible experience you know having a diagnosis like that i was carrying a lot of extra weight um so after i had the the surgery um you know, when somebody tells you, you know, that what you have is very serious and there are other health implications as well. Um, there are other areas that they want to keep an eye on and they don't know what it is. It's a real fright. It's a reset button. And, uh, you know, I think when you're younger, you can eat what you like, you can do what you like. But when you get older, you start to take stock. And, you know, if I want to live for a long time, I'm not going to be able to do it if I carry on like this. So um, my sister-in-law, had been with you and had lost a lot of weight as well and so that's why I reached out to you and I I suppose I was willing but I was I suppose a little bit skeptical because nothing else had worked before but the main reason why um apart from not liking the way that I looked you know I was worried about my health you know I have a young son he's only 11 so I'd like to be there for him and uh you know I was determined that it, I had to do something about it permanently otherwise as you said something about if you don't make time for you know if you don't make time for yourself your health you know basically your sickness will make time for itself you know and that that's yeah. it then then it'll be too late you know yeah i appreciate you sharing that i mean to have gone through such a struggle and, and look where you are now it's night and day yeah like you know cancer is is a is a diff is a it's not easy to go through and, um, you know, you are you, having that kidney cancer. I, I just think it's remarkable, the, the, the turnaround. I mean, I had to drill that into you. I said, Mo, I mean, if you don't do this, look, the red flag was there. You have mm -hmm. to invest in your health. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's, have, it's, it's made a massive you, difference. Yeah. Mm, have you any um, advice to anyone out there who, may have health issues that are on the fence about investing in their health. Have you any? Just, just get off the fence. The longer you leave it, you know, I got a, you know, I got a fairly serious scare. I'm down to one kidney now, so I can't be messing around anymore. But the last two scans, the other issues that I had, they're gone, do you know? And a hundred percent, I'm absolutely a hundred percent convinced that the lifestyle change, the better food, um, more nutrition, more hydration, more exercise. It has definitely made a difference, no question about it. I mean, I'm not, I don't be following every little sort of gimmick and stuff like that, but certainly this is as nice as I've ever been to myself this last eight months. Um, I really am doing myself a huge, favor here you know you can't put a price on your health and your happiness on, on your as you said there uh your energy as well i think your 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 energy is like you're like a young one again aren't you, you i know? really am i really am it's uh when i was doing beforehand you know at three o'clock i could lie down on the pavement and sleep for half an hour you know and you know i didn't really know what was what was wrong 
So just not eating enough protein. I didn't understand about carbohydrates. I didn't understand about fats. I just ate whatever was there. Foods were good or bad. You know, that was the way, you know, so stuff that I really, really liked that, that was full of fat was bad for me. And then everything else I had to eat to keep myself alive. But like now, you know, I can eat whatever I want, you know, yeah. because I'm a little bit more educated than I was. I'm actually a lot more educated than I was nine months ago. Yeah, I see. Well, in the last eight months, you've learned a lot about nutrition and what about mindset? Has your mindset changed in any way? Very, you know, there's sometimes I get so excited about what's on my plate that I can hardly to sit down and eat it. You know, things like <laughs> spinach salad with grapes in it and a little bit of meat. I mean, sometimes it's, you know, you just can't wait. I mean, I've never, I've never really been like that with food. Um, it, what, what was quick and what was easy to throw on but now it's you know what do I need for my dinner you know, I'm getting to know myself as well that if I eat my dinner early on in the day I'm going to start snacking in the evening so if I can leave my dinner to a little bit later on in the afternoon the evening time then I'm full when I go to bed so then I don't snack so they're all things that um you know that I've edu but I've just it's just it has really been an education you know it really has been an education yeah, so did, did you um, did you give up carbohydrates? Did you cut out any specific food groups? Did you restrict yourself in any way? Nothing. You know, that was the nice thing. It wasn't like you can have this at two o'clock, but you can't have it at seven o'clock. You can have a little bit of that, but you can't have much of that. You can't have any of that at all. I mean, I could have my drinks at the weekend. Do you know, I could plan out that if I wanted to have a little bit more, that I eat a little bit less. But the protein, um, the protein is just unreal. Just, you know, having a certain amount of protein in every dinner, uh, sorry, at every every meal, it means that you're just full, you know, so then you're not inclined to snack. Mm. So no, I never was hungry. I never had to not eat stuff. You know, if there was room for it, I could have it. And that was nice. That was good. Yeah, I know you, you kind of struggled at the start. I think everyone does at the start in getting in enough protein, but you know over time you've seen the benefits it's the single most important macronutrient you see how it Absolutely. makes it full and yeah and uh you know you never feel hungry and obviously mm. when you're it's going to give you that uh that uh, muscle definition as well but while yeah. you doing mad crazy exercises at home or you, well this is your you weren't joining the gym obviously no you know the the first three or four months i have to say truthfully I didn't do any of the home workouts as much. I did a little bit, but really nothing. I did all my walks, of course. But on the last four months, you know, I could see that I was losing the weight, but then, you know, I had no definition. And so I started doing, like, everything is online nowadays. So, you know, there was a lady, you switch her on in the morning, you pay a certain amount of money. She does half an hour every day and you can touch in and out. She has recordings there. So I find those really good. I mean, the pandemic has been bad in some respects, but it's been absolutely fantastic in others that I can focus on myself. I know Colleen did something the same. No excuses at all. It's not like I haven't got the time I've got all day. So, yeah. you know, I get out and get to my work. So they're just good habits that I can, that I'm starting to carry on from now on. You know, yeah, not having a... the time is, not having the time is not a good enough excuse. Not having the time for myself is not a good excuse, not a good enough excuse to, um, to not do the things I know I should. Well, it all comes down to priorities, doesn't it? I mean, you, yes. you have a uh, family as well, but you, you make time. You know, a lot of people spend 30 minutes, 45 minutes scrolling through Instagram or, you know, watching an hour on Netflix. I mean, that could be put to use for a home workout, for meal prepping. It all comes down to yeah. a person's attitude and a person's um, priorities, really, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind the clock here more just if you don't mind. Like sure. I, I just can't get over the, the the change and you look even healthier, your face and and uh just the, what you were saying to me in the past, you had aches and pains every day, your clothes didn't fit, you had no energy, you're very conscious how you look. You feel like a 75-year-old woman. <laughs> Did I say that? Yeah, that yeah, would be about right. That would you're be about mobile. right. You're yeah, covering yeah. Up. Uh now, I mean, to me, look, it's clear from this video today, you're, you're, you're glowing, you're thriving, you're, you're fit and you're mobile, you have energy, you're happy, 
And this is sustainable. Yes. It's fantastic. It's just Absolutely. I, I remember when we finished up there, which was just last week, you know, it's like leaving home all, all over again. You know, I'm all by myself and I'm thinking, will I be able to do it? And, you know, I just keep doing what I've been doing. And sure, that's, that's all there. That's all I need to do. Just keep doing what I've been doing. No, nothing yeah, you more, nothing goal. less. It was nice yeah. and slow and steady, I think. You know, we For me, it was. You... Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's 48 pounds across eight months. I know a lot of people coming in thinking, oh, I want to lose 20 pounds in, in, a, in a four weeks. But if you do that, yeah, we'll put you on 1,000 calories a day, but you'll crash and burn and you'll rebound. And you'll, this, this cycle is going around in circles forever. But you have to have patience. Like Breed had patience last week. Like Mo is in the program. She's, you know, slow and steady. It's, it's the correct. It's more sustainable. It's otherwise you, you won't keep it off. No. Exactly. I, I remember, you know, I was thinking when I went into it, like I normally just go at it like a bull at a gate, you know. So for the first few <clears throat> couple of months, it was two kilos every week. And then all of a sudden coming up to November, everything just came to a complete halt. And for three or four weeks, there was no change at all. And, you know, if I had been on my own at that stage, I would have given up. Do you know, I would have said, I'll start it, you know, that's it. And I had to start eating again. But mm. then you said to me, all right, you need to just increase your calories. And I'm thinking, this guy is absolutely crazy. Sure, if I increase my calories, I'm going to put on weight. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I just think it just, just doesn't make sense. But you did. And I didn't gain weight. And then we went back at it again. And then it's, you know, and then I started to lose the weight more slowly. And it was fairly stubborn. But just having, you know, having somebody there to say, you're still going in the right direction even though it's just not as quickly as it was before and not to be too, you know, not to be looking at the scales and hopping up and down on it like a rabbit, oh, like it's lost two ounces today and four grams tomorrow, you know, just to just to keep doing what you're doing and you will see it. I mean, when I got to 75K, I was just, I was just over the moon. I really was because I haven't been this weight since maybe it was since I was married. It's over 30 years since I've been this weight, do you know, so I'm prancing up and down the hall at the big mirror looking look how fabulous I am before I go into the kitchen do you know and it's just it's just a buzz it really is because there's a lot of work involved for the people that lose a lot of weight and change how they look um there's a lot of work involved but it's not as difficult as you know as I thought it would be I, I never thought I'd get down to this weight you know and I, I never did yeah it's, it's, it's amazing as a coach hearing this from you it's just it's, it's a magical moment for me and the other coach as well to, to uh, get you these results and it's sustainable yeah. and change the change in your life. I mean, I'm sure I mean, you can pass this down to your, your kids, your, your, your partner, what you've learned. I mean, that's the beauty of this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure, you, sure. they're probably your newfound um, confidence, etc., cetera, has, has rubbed off on them. Has it? It has. And you know, the meals have changed as well. Um, you know it's it's people are asking you what are you eating and why are you eating that and you know you're explaining that the you know, my son is big into keep fit and stuff so he's well aware of it but you know even so he's really happy now because he does marathons and stuff so he's got like a high protein high protein diet at home the food is way better at home as well you know there's it's just it's just really really you know that you know you're doing you're putting the right stuff in and then you can get whatever you want out. So if you wanted to go for a long walk or you wanted to, you know, you wanted to do a long day's work, you have the fuel to keep you going as opposed to having the fuel to keep you going halfway and then you're falling down on the road and then you're, you know, getting in more sugar to get yourself going again. Do you know, it's just, instead of going all day, you're stopping and starting. Before that was what it was like. So, so it's great to be fueled up and have decent food, you know? Yeah, fantastic. So just briefly talk about the accountability part. I mean, do you think that was the major difference? Like, remember <laughs> when I first started, it? I first started the program and you put me on whatever it was, so many calories. And I was up in Donegal with my mother and father and it was a Wednesday night and I had been walking, walking, walking all day. And my Fitbit told me like I had a thousand calories extra. So I go into the restaurant and I have a big fat steak and then I have a bit of chocolate cake. And just while I'm sitting at the table, I put it into my fitness pal. And then about 10 minutes later, I get a text from you saying, WTF? <laughs> question marks, question mark. 
<laughs> oh, Jesus, I'm in Donegal. This fellow is in Toronto. Or <laughs> how, the hell, how the hell am I getting a text message from him at eight o'clock at night? He's, do you normally drink in the middle of the in the middle of the week? Yeah. And um, certainly that was really that was really a big thing. So he, you were telling me not to count my calories from exercise you know, as a legitimate reason to, you know, let the reins off on a Wednesday evening, you know, with steak and chocolate fudge cake. So that was my lesson learned from that one. But it just goes to show you how you think you're doing all the right things because of my Fitbit tells me I have a thousand calories earned from walking, you know. Yeah, it's the educational part. I mean, people think that you have to yes, eat back sure. your calories from exercising, that you, yeah. you burn eight or 900 calories from exercise, which is nonsense, really. Yeah, yeah. I'm just so, going to see if anyone. You know, so that that was that was important. Yeah, yeah. Just see if any questions in the group. I see your questions here, or our other clients. Has anyone in the uh, in the group have any questions? Before uh, we let more back. Um. Mm -hmm. I guess, look, what, what else do we have to talk about? I guess, can you please sum up your experience over the last eight months? I know you, you've already talked about it, but can you sum it up? It's been the best eight months, I think, that I've, that I've had in a really long time. I, I've really enjoyed it. You know, I did the eight months because the four months I knew just wasn't quite enough for me. Uh, another four months, and you did say it, and it was true, to really get the habits and planted in you know I just needed that a little bit of extra time and I, and I was also determined that if I had made a decision to get down to my goal weight that that I wasn't going to finish it until that I had so um it's just been life-changing you know my health is so much better I feel so much better you know I'm I have way more energy you know when you're looking on Facebook and there's all of these things coming up about losing weight this way and it's your hormones and it's keto and it's all of this, you know, I look at all of that and I just scroll on, scroll on, Davy, we're looking for, you know, because, you know, it's a science, do you know what I mean? It's not a case of you can't eat this or you can't eat that. It's just the whole package that you offer. It's been the best money that I've ever spent and anybody that's, that's spoken to me about it, you know, I've been quite open and saying, you know, if you want to lose your weight permanently, um, this is one of the best ways to do it with yourself and, and the people that you have around you that are there as well. You know, I know Gavin has come on and I haven't met him, but, um, you know, Coach G and Stephanie and all of those people just make it, you know, a mental and, and also, you know, it's, it's about food, but it's also about your mindset. That's also very important. And you do talk about that and you do spend time making sure that everybody has the mindset to do this as well. So to sum it up for me, it's um, I'm just so glad to be on the other side of it. It was great at Christmas when there was a losing weight and to say, well, I'm nearly there. So like, just it's, it's a great feeling, you know, and to have I'm rambling a little bit here now, but just to have the tools to do it myself, you know, from now on in. Yeah, my God, that's just that's an amazing uh, testimonial there. Mo. I appreciate you sharing that, honestly. No, I and, uh, a fantastic program and, and you're not successful for nothing, you know, and all the girls there and the girls chatting and talking. Melanie, if I was doing it this week, Melanie, I would have beaten you. Definitely. I had <laughs> over 20,000 steps every day this week, but unfortunately, I've left the programs. I was going to put it on, so I would have beaten you, but 24 now, she's just away. She's away altogether. I think we'll have to sedate, <laughs> sedate Melanie. She's, I think she's she just, must do that she's when on, she's having her dinner. She's, she's still stepping. She's a machine. <laughs> <laughs> she must be dancing there. She's, she's like an energizer bunny up in Montreal. Yeah, absolutely. But the competition was great. You know, it's a great thing to have the steps in every week. A couple of times I got in the top five. But, um, you know, she's she does deserve it, certainly. She's walking every step, so that's great. Mm. Yeah, she's, again, it's such a pleasure for me to work work with you and to change your life. And so, well, it, it, we have prolonged your life. This is more of a health thing. It Very shows much. the importance of actually... Yeah, investing in your health because look at where you were and where you are now. It's just it's just night and day. Yes. So yes. So again, Mo, I, I'd like to just thank you for coming on and sharing your story. And if anyone has any questions, 
please don't hesitate to just uh, comment below. Okay. So again, Mo, thank you very much. Thank you very um, much, Davey. It's been a pleasure. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.